Why might a certain type of musician need a cup of rice every few years? I'll say that again. Why might a certain type of musician need a cup of rice every few years? Ooh, okay. I, I'm i going to stay quiet for a second. I would, I mean, if it's rice-based, then you, I have to assume it's something to do with, I mean, they're not eating it every few years. That would be a terrible diet. Right, right that would be stupid. Who would think that? That would be ridiculous if someone, <laughs> if, if, if one of your co-hosts thought that. Oh, that just, Oh, you sweet, sweet thing, Tom. <laughs> every, oh. every, every classically trained soprano knows you got to, every few years, have one bowl of rice. You're only allowed one cup of rice. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, Caroline, yeah. <laughs> I will say also quickly, Tom, I have um, solved a Rubik's Cube on the unicycle once, not on the tightrope. This is harder. <laughs> <laughs> Are they replacing an element of their musical instrument? Ooh. No, they're not. No, I, I was going to say, as someone who's dropped my phone in many yeah. bodies Ooh, of water, yeah. including the toilet, I know the effectiveness of rice <laughs> to yeah. draw out the water. I, and I know moisture is very important for like guitars and stuff like that. Like you have to have like proper humidity for like the wood. So my, my brain goes to that. But, but also what's interesting is like every few years. And it's also only one cup of rice. I feel like if you're trying to dry out a large musical instrument, yeah. Fill up the entire guitar with rice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, is it to do with retuning or retightening an instrument or something? I'm thinking about like how rice might rattle on a drum if it's not tightened ooh. properly. Is it that I would have thought it was something that you blow into, like a woodwind instrument? Ooh. Because that, all the, your saliva is getting into the <gasps> instrument. Oh, that's so a lovely thing. That to is think true. About, isn't lots it? of yeah. lots of brass instruments do have a spit valve, um, which I, I also that is contentious. Apparently, uh, a lot of people like to be like, no, it's a condensation valve, uh, but it's also a, it's a spit valve. <laughs> <laughs> We have a piece of equipment at work, small tangent, where you uh, like blow into a tube and then cornflour comes out of the top and you set it on fire and it makes like a cool oh. huge. Uh, and we recently cleaned out the tube. Ooh, and oh, it, no. Yeah, I don't. It was it was so bad. I don't think rice could have oh. saved it, to be honest. Um. <laughs> you are almost along the right lines there. Although I will say, why are you blowing into it? Like use a bellows. Use it. You get it. <laughs> Uh, you, you think museums in London are going <laughs> to provide us that sort of equipment? No. <laughs> yeah, okay, you, you make a good point. No, I've, I've seen that done with like some explosive powder once. And it's like, yeah, it's not yeah. going to get this in your mouth. We're going to use a bellows, but okay, fine. Corn flour, you can... Museum mm. employees, you can... Yeah, <laughs> you can do what you want with them. Museum so employees, didn't. graduate students, they're all kind of the, 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 yeah. the more disposable uh. parts of academia. I have heard a yeah. professor say that once. He's he, he. I forget what testing it was, but it's like, yeah, we use graduate students. They're mostly disposable. I'm like, I don't, I don't think you should have said that on camera, but it's going in the final video. <laughs> <laughs> so, did we establish what instrument it was, or will that give too much away? Honestly, you've said most of the words that are in the answer. We've also said a lot of words. I mean, that is that is true. It was it was the cornflower bellows. Corn That's flower the cornflower <laughs> fire instrument. The the. The. The? Is the in there? Uh -huh. A? Rice. Huh. Every few years, a cup of rice. Is it for drying out? That's my main thing for, for yeah. that. Um, rattling is a thing that... Not, not every few years. It's some, but it's something okay. that, that accumulates dust and dirt and mildew a bit more slower than a, a wind instrument with a spit valve would. Oh, so are you putting the rice into the instrument and then shaking it to like knock dirt out? Ooh, ooh sort of like how you like clean um, stuff with salt, like an abrasive maybe? Wait, yep. you know how I took um, the mickey out of Tom earlier for saying that you put it into a guitar or something? Is it along those lines? It's exactly along those lines, yes. <laughs> you put rice in a guitar? It's an old-fashioned way to clean a guitar. You put rice into the sound hole, you tape it up, you spend a long time shaking it round, and it will just scrape and scratch every little bit of that wood, not enough to damage it, enough to take off the, the little bits of dust and mildew that you can't easily get out. Ah, that's kind of clever. 
Huh. I will say, you know, it's an absolute nightmare getting all that rice out, though. You know, you're, you're <laughs> rattling for the next couple of weeks. Boy, howdy. If you've ever lost a pick in the guitar, you know that this is not. 